Okay, the next trial that we want to talk about is going to be what we call our snack food trial, which is supported by Potatoes USA and Snack International. And in this trial here, we have 12 clones from roughly five different breeding programs. Uh, and what we're looking for here, again, is adaptation to North Carolina and more broadly to the south, southeast in general. We're not going to go over specifically on a lot of the clones today, but what I would like to say is that the clones that you see in the trial here represent the materials that have passed through the NCP Tier 1 and the NCP Tier 2 trials. NCP stands for the National Chip Processing Trials that's supported through Potatoes USA that supports 11 different breeding programs around the country. So the materials that have advanced to the snack trial here actually have passed through the Tier 1 and the Tier 2 trials and have been selected by both the breeding community, the breeders, and also the chip companies and our on-farm, our farmer representatives to advance these materials into what we call the snack food trials. Uh, the snack trials, I think we have, I think we have 11 plus different sites this year around the country and they represent the best of the best of the various our early generation chipping clones that our growers might look at. Uh, we'll talk about one or two of those, but what I prefer to do is let my associate, Mark Claw tell you a little bit about maybe one or two of these clones in here that we think merit suggestion and that uh, our growers might want to look at a little bit further. I'm, I'm standing in front of the Snack International trial uh, today. There are two varieties I like to talk about in, in reference to our standards, Atlantic and Snowden. And I also like to make, make, to make a point about our five hill plots that we're looking at today. Um, the first variety I want to look at is NY162. NY162 has been a good chipping variety for us for the last couple of years we've looked at it. Its solids are okay, they're a little bit lighter than Atlantic, but uh, the chip quality, the yield, uh, freedom from internal defects has been really good, really positive. And so it's one that, that I've been encouraging uh, growers to start to look at. Um, but if you look at it in reference to Atlantic, which is our, our number one standard, um, the set is a whole lot lighter. And in fact, if you look across this entire trial, you'll notice that the set in NY162 is lighter than everything else. Uh, so it's really not showing its potential here with those five hills. Um, the other variety I'd like to talk about is a uh, clone of the USDA program out of Maryland. It's uh, B286929. B286929 has been floating around the program for a while. We've, we've seen it in other yield, yield trials across um, probably four or five years. Its, its size is smaller than Atlantic. Its yields typically are competitive with Atlantic, maybe a little bit more. Gravity is very similar to Atlantic. Um, maybe a shade lighter. Uh, and um, it's chipped well over the last few years. So we, we like it, uh, and if you look at it here, the set is really nice. Um, it, but it's got such a high set, we, we worry that given its maturity, which is very similar to Atlantic, we worry that it's not going to be able to size up. Um, now, a point about the five hills. So I, I want you to make special note of Atlantic and Snowden in this trial, and the size that they're at, and the number of tubers there that you see in these plots. There are standards where they're also going to be in our chip trial, and in that trial, you'll see Atlantic and Snowden, and you'll notice a size difference and maybe even a set difference for our, our standards. It's, it's a very important point to make because, again, with 162, it's, it's light, but maybe there was only two hills there, maybe there's only three hills there. Um, the team digging it up, you know, maybe they didn't dig down deep enough. So, so you never know. You never know how it's affecting. So these trials, these five hill plots, are fantastic to get a read on how the crop's coming, but they are not a definitive uh, explanation as to what's going on underneath the tops. So uh, with that, uh, thank you.